I've got a confession to make guys. I have been incredibly neglectful of my little five year diary recently. Like, so bad. I can't even remember what the last day I wrote in was. And it's highly unlikely that I can remember any of the things that I've done in the last three weeks, which is where I think I roughly am. But I have a couple of hours this morning it's my morning off, my little boy's in nursery today. I have to go pick him up at half past two. The house isn't looking too untidy, so I think I can get away with a couple of hours of solid diary working. But I do have a hair appointment at 11 o'clock. So I've got a good hour until I need to leave. And I think I'm just gonna try and plow through it as much as I can have absolutely been prioritising sitting down and doom scrolling at the end of the day rather than spending five or ten minutes just writing in this book. And actually, if I did this first, I could then spend, you know, 95% of my evening doom scrolling if I so wish to do so. I have been going to the gym a lot more. I'm now back at work, so I don't have my days or the times where my little boy is napping to do my diary. But equally, I haven't been prioritising the right things, so this is all on me. There is nothing here that I can blame other than myself. Okay, let's see if we can assess the damage here. I'm not 100% certain what the last day I wrote on was, but we'll see. Oh, that's good. My highlighters are in here, so that's a good start. And if you haven't seen my five year diary before, I've been filling in and ticking off the days that I have written in. And then these blank spaces are days that I didn't write in. And immediately I know that the 13th and 14th of April I haven't written in, even though I've written up to the 21st according to this. I'm going to be completely honest, I cannot remember what I did on the 13th or 14th of April. It was clearly such a memorable weekend that I have nothing to write about. So with these two dates I'll either leave them blank again or I will fill in with a prompt once I've done the other dates. The eagle-eyed of you may have spotted on my watch earlier that it is currently the 14th of May. So that is one, two, three, three full weeks and two days that I apparently haven't written in. But let's just have a quick look and see if this is accurate because I've got a feeling I didn't highlight a few days. 24. The 24th is the last day that I wrote in and clearly I was doing a chunk at a time. So clearly I was doing a chunk at a time because I wrote Thursday in but I didn't actually do anything with it. So we can immediately tick off these three. So I've got my Hobonichi weeks here because I use this as a memory keeper when I haven't um, written in my five year diary. Again, with varied success. So some weeks like these two, it works really well. Um, and then this is last week and it's not worked very well at all. This week I haven't even planned in here yet. We will be using this quite a lot because I can't remember anything. <laughs> Luckily though, the dead week, this week and this week, are already filled in so that's great so I've got these two weeks that are filled in nicely and then this is last week so I'll be able to remember most of that Thursday the 25th
two entries and my hand is hurting again. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna film the rest of this off camera. So I've done a few pages off camera, but I'm just popping in again to say that I have uh, depleted the ink in this pen. So I'm gonna refill it. I did have Arabian Nights in here. Um, as you can see, the cartridge is completely empty now. I think it out, it's easier. I should really go give this a wash, shouldn't I? Um, am I gonna do that? No, probably not. What I'm probably gonna do, because I am a lazy, lazy, lazy person, I'm probably just going to get one of my darker inks and put this in there instead. I quite like mixing inks in the barrel, if that makes sense. Well, I know it's probably a big, big no, but I just find it really interesting to see what colours you get coming out. So I'm going to pick up Writer's Blood, because I haven't used this one in a little while in here. I used it back here, but that was a little while ago. So I'm just going to dip into Writer's Blood and just refill quickly. And then when I do want to get a different, a lighter colour in here, I will clean this out properly. There we go. Okay, so that is the entry for the 12th of May finished. I'm just going to finish off this. So I'm just going to write on here. It's not very pretty, uh, but it does the trick. I just like to record a little bit of what Eurovision was like and about every year. So I just do a little graphic on the other side of the page. Um, I did this last year for Cha Cha Cha, which was my favourite song from last year, but this is my favourite two songs, and then the winner, and another song that I really liked. So I've just gone through, I haven't really done much, it's pretty much all just standard journaling. I did do a little bit over two pages here, but it is pretty average stuff. I'm going to just go through now and, part, and mark off that I've done up to the 12th is amazing I can't believe when we started I was on what the 24th I think I will finish off these two days I will do some journaling some creative journaling for them at some point and obviously I'll do yesterday and today has taken me all morning it's now quarter past two and I need to go pick my little boy up so thank you very much if you managed to make it through all of that I do appreciate it thank you very much for being here and I will see you again soon in another video mm -hmm.